Please welcome Robin Pierce. As you know, the status of professional speaking is increasing dramatically around the world. As good fortune would have it, one of Britain's most renowned linguists has been able to join us here in San Diego today. And we on the Federation Executive begged Ian and uh, uh, Lorna to, for a few moments for him to come and speak to us. His professor in SA, PhD, MD, and currently Dean of the Faculty of Behavioural Linguistics at Oxford University in London, in, in England. <laughs> Ennis was in Los Angeles yesterday addressing the very prestigious Biennial University's Language Laboratory. Please welcome Professor Say. Thank you, Madam President. I've had the privilege of uh, sitting in on this marvelous convention, Congress, a conference, and its multitude of uh, breakout sessions, colloquia, seminars, and tutorials to assess it linguistically. And uh, I wonder if I could beg your indulgence, perhaps if I talk for five minutes and you listen for five minutes, we both might finish at about the same time. If you finish uh, listening before I finish speaking, perhaps just sit quietly and think privately to yourself until I catch up. It would be most appreciated. If we, could, uh, if we could have the first slide, please. There are no slides. I hate PowerPoint. I I just like teasing the technical directors. <laughs> From a language viewpoint, I have, uh, I have been able to put into uh, a system that I've developed, uh, a framework, uh, a structure, uh, the activities that have gone on here from a, a semiotic and pragmatic viewpoint. And it's an interesting system, and I'm delighted to share it with you uh, off the record in confidence. If we could just move the meeting into camera uh, so that what goes on here within these four walls is, is confidential. If, if you feel compelled to share it with people outside this room, if you would do so uh, in confidence, that would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> but what we have uh, at Oxford, and it's become quite well, well regarded, uh, is a, a thinking system of, uh, of language acquisition, uh, development, and uh, uh, distribution. And it's based on systems thinking. I know a number of people in this room are, are uh, adherents and advocates, fans of, uh, of uh, thinking systems. But, but this, uh, this, uh, this thinking system, based as it is on systems thinking, is not so much circumlocutory or annual or radial um, as it is systemic and systematic. <laughs> And, and ultimately cyclic, in a roundabout sort of way. But it has a number of resources that we, we put into, uh, uh, into it as, uh, as uh, inputs. And the first of those is human resources, uh, known, in, known in Britain as people. The, s <laughs> the second is, uh, is financial resources, such as such as America's almost whole dollar, and congratulations for that. <laughs> um, I hope I'm not being too patronizing or pompous or bombastic or supercilious. If you find me so, please just accept that as a, as a bonus. Um, <laughs> the second input, uh, uh, if, if you like, well, the, it's not really the second, or even the second last. It's, it's, uh, it's after the third and before the penultimate. Um, it's, if you like, it's the fourth last, it's the pre-ante-penultimate input, is uh, the physical resources of property, plant, and equipment. Uh, uh, then there is time, the ultimate finite resource, which is either a denominator or a numerator, depending on where you did your, your maths, or, uh, or as they say in the US, a math, uh, because you're not really a pluralistic society at all. Uh, and taking that, uh, 
taking that uh, diversification or diversity or, or multicultural metaphor one step further, you know the snake in Taoist philosophy that is impossibly swelling its own tail, that in, improbable icon. And, well, as a, as a sort of increasingly concentric circle, um, uh, the system itself is part of its own uh, feedback loop. And <laughs> what we do at Oxford is uh, we input those inputs as input and then as throughput, transform them into output, the outcome from which uh, we'd like to measure initially qualitatively and ultimately quantitatively against a plethora of hierarchies, uh, an aggregation of continuous uh, both refined input and a submission to the Vice Chancellor and various sponsors for further funding. <laughs> a any questions? I'd now like to discuss the emerging popularity of research into the subject of deferred gratification, but more of that later. <laughs>